All right, here we are, round two of Next Garage Madness. Um, so I got an email back after uh, tech support viewed my video, and uh, they informed me that I was able to access the setup um, procedures or the uh, settings for the Next Garage device um, by going to the mobile app website. So let's do it. My device is currently reset, um, and we're going to do it now. So right now I'm connected to my normal boring website. You can see Next Garage um, is showing up. Oops, excuse me, showing up right there. Uh, and by nor normal boring website, I mean my normal boring router. So let's go to the web app page. You can see I'm already here. Um, mobilenextgarage.com and it says my garage is open which is odd uh, it looks like if we go to registered devices um, there's a garage registered on here and I can't do anything with it it'll just say oh holy shit it worked it worked well it said I deleted it but there it is so, that's odd. Maybe change Wi-Fi configuration? Save? It's been updated, but... Okay, well, regardless, um, before I was getting a communication error, uh, I can't delete this. I tried. Um, but, so let's try and add a new one. And by the way, I've tried connecting to the uh, Next Garage Wi-Fi network the ad hoc one to delete that Taylor's garage thing and it didn't work anyways exact same thing I mean honestly it's the same application just you know on the web so let's go through let's jump through the hoops all right yes light is a steady green okay so now it's retrieving Wi-Fi network names and now it wants me to uh, go to the next garage Wi-Fi network so let's do that we go over here Select Next Garage. Give it a second. There it is. So you can see um, that my router shows up. It sees it. Or, yeah. Or my computer sees it. I don't know. I, I don't know what it's reading from. I'm guessing my computer. Light is still steady green. I'll select my router. We'll enter my Wi Fi password which as I said in the last video is pretty long. Uh, so pressing continue. Um, whoops, excuse me. Uh, it's asking for me to verify my information. Um, it's correct. It's the same information I've been entering. Configure device. Okay, so now it is doing its thing. And the difference between this web app uh, and the app on my phone uh, is that it just took a lot longer to fail. So it'll just kind of remain a solid green for longer before it starts blinking and then never stops blinking. All right, so we're on this page asking me if it has turned the light has turned off and there it starts blinking. And it should just continue to blink forever. So same exact thing happens um I don't know. What do you think? Um, I could try lying to the application again and saying that it's st uh, stopped blinking. I mean, let's try it. Let's do it. So it's still blinking. Uh, and by the way, I waited like 10 minutes before. Um, so it's not for lack of waiting. So I'm just going to say it's off. And we will register this as the same... Well, we'll do this Taylor's Home Garage. Just, how about Taylor's Home? 
There we go. This actually works. I want it to be a name I actually want. Register. Okay, it's registering the cloud. Oh, I'm still probably connected to the device. Yeah, I am. So I can't exactly register the device to the cloud while I'm connected to it. So I guess let's switch back. Yeah, there was an error because I need internet. Okay, I'm connected to my router. Next garage is still showing up and it's blinking. I bet it'll disappear though. Yeah, it's gone now. Okay, uh, so now let's press register to cloud. There it is. No, it's not. It is not there. There's still Taylor's home garage, which is on there. Um, but I'm not seeing the one that we just apparently registered. So let's maybe refresh. Nope. Home. It's open. Can I? Nope. Control air. <sighs> So there we go. I mean, let's see. So it gives us this same information. Oh no, look, now it's named Taylor's Home. Okay, so the device or the web app updated, at least this section did, but let's go back to registered devices because we have the device name as Taylor's Home, but the device name here says Taylor's Home Garage which, as we just saw, is not actually the device name. So part of the application looks like it updated, but not the uh, other part. Uh, maybe, maybe I have to delete my cache uh, to, to fix this, but anyways, that's just not great. All right, but anyways, let's go, let's go to About Device, and just for shits and giggles, let's try and update the firmware, because that would be awesome. Oh, this is not actually a... Oh, there we go. Oh, I sent a troubleshooting log, apparently. But I can't update the firmware. That this is not actually a working hyperlink. Oh, it's a... Uh... Okay. Oh, wow, there's a lot of errors in this page. Um... At least there was when I looked at the console. Anyways, so it's it's still blinking. Um, exact same problem. Okay, I'm done.